Awaken Terror, The Unleashing of the Cryptid's Curse. As a kid, Sarah loved playing in the woods near her house. She would spend hours exploring the streams and climbing the trees, always searching for new adventures. But one summer, Sarah found herself in the middle of a nightmare she could never have imagined. It was a hot day, and Sarah had decided to explore the swamp near her house. She had heard stories about a swamp monster that lived in the murky waters, but she had always thought they were just myths. As she waded through the knee-deep water, she suddenly heard a low growl coming from behind her. She spun around, her heart racing, to find a creature unlike anything she had ever seen before. The creature was enormous, covered in scales and slime, and had a mouthful of razor-sharp teeth. It advanced slowly, its eyes locked on Sarah, and she knew she was in trouble. She tried to run, but the creature was faster, and it caught her by the ankle. Sarah screamed as the creature pulled her into the water, the murky liquid swallowing her whole. She thrashed around, desperately trying to free herself, but the creature was too strong. She knew she was going to die and she closed her eyes, ready for the end. But then something strange happened. The creature seemed to hesitate, its grip on her ankle loosening slightly. Sarah saw her chance and kicked with all her might, freeing herself from the monster's grasp. She scrambled back to the shore, gasping for air, and ran as fast as she could back to her house. Sarah never went back to the swamp again but she could still hear the growl of the swamp monster in her dreams, a reminder of the horror she had faced that summer day. Sarah couldn't shake the memory of the swamp monster from her mind. Every night she would dream about the creature's razor-sharp teeth and slimy scales. She felt like it was haunting her, waiting for the right moment to strike again. One night, Sarah woke up in a cold sweat. Her heart racing, she had dreamt that the swamp monster was back, and this time it was coming for her. She got out of bed and walked over to the window, peering out into the darkness. That's when she saw it. The swamp outside her house was shrouded in a thick fog, but Sarah could make out the silhouette of the creature moving slowly towards her house. Its eyes glinted in the moonlight, and Sarah knew she had to act fast. She ran to the door and locked it, then grabbed a kitchen knife and stood in front of the window, ready to defend herself. The creature was getting closer, its growls getting louder, and Sarah could feel her heart pounding in her chest. Suddenly, the creature burst through the window, sending glass flying everywhere. Sarah screamed and lunged at it with the knife, but it was no use. The creature was too strong, too powerful. It grabbed her by the shoulders and lifted her off the ground, its eyes locking onto hers. Sarah knew she was going to die. She closed her eyes, ready for the end. But then something strange happened. The creature hesitated, as if something was stopping it from finishing her off. It looked at her for a long moment and Sarah could feel a strange energy emanating from it. She didn't know what it was, but she felt like it was trying to tell her something. Suddenly, the creature released her, turned, and disappeared into the darkness. Sarah was left alone, shaken and confused. She didn't know what had just happened, but she knew she had narrowly escaped with her life. From that day on, Sarah never went back to the swamp again, but she could still feel the creature's presence, watching her from the shadows, waiting for the right moment to strike again. The memory of the swamp monster would haunt her for the rest of her life, a reminder of the horror she had faced that summer day. Years passed, and Sarah tried to forget the terrifying encounter with the swamp monster. She moved to a new city got married, and started a family. But deep down, 
She knew that the memory of the creature would never truly leave her. One day, while on vacation with her family, Sarah decided to take a walk through the nearby woods. As she walked deeper into the forest, she felt a strange sense of unease, like she was being watched. She tried to shake it off and keep walking, but the feeling only grew stronger. Suddenly, she heard a rustling in the bushes behind her. She turned around, expecting to see a small animal, but instead, she saw the swamp monster. It was just as terrifying as she remembered it, with razor-sharp teeth and slimy scales. Sarah tried to run, but her legs felt like they were made of lead. The creature was getting closer, its breath hot on her neck. She knew she was going to die, just like before. But then, something strange happened. The creature stopped in its tracks, as if it had seen something that scared it even more than Sarah. It turned and ran back into the woods, disappearing into the darkness. Sarah was left alone, shaken and confused. She didn't know what had just happened, but she knew she had narrowly escaped with her life once again. Over the years, Sarah would have many more encounters with the swamp monster. Sometimes, she would see it out of the corner of her eye, lurking in the shadows. Other times, she would wake up in the middle of the night, hearing its growls outside her window. Sarah never knew why the creature had chosen to haunt her, but she knew that it would never truly leave her alone. She would always be looking over her shoulder wondering when the swamp monster would strike again. As the years went by, Sarah became increasingly obsessed with the swamp monster. She spent countless hours researching cryptids and other paranormal phenomena, trying to find an explanation for what she had experienced. Her husband and children thought she was crazy, but Sarah couldn't stop herself. She had to know more about the creature that had haunted her for so long. One night, Sarah woke up to find that the swamp monster was standing at the foot of her bed. It was even more terrifying than she remembered it, with eyes that seemed to glow in the dark. Sarah froze, unable to move or even scream. The creature leaned in close, its hot breath washing over her face. And then, it spoke. Its voice was deep and rumbling, like the sound of thunder. Why do you fear me, Sarah? It asked. Sarah tried to answer, but her voice caught in her throat. She couldn't think of anything to say. All she could do was stare in terror at the creature before her. The swamp monster seemed to sense her fear. It leaned in even closer, its breath hot on her face. You cannot run from me. Sarah, it said, I am always with you, waiting in the shadows. And then, just like that, it was gone. Sarah was left alone, shaking and terrified. She knew that the creature was right. She could never escape it. It would always be there, lurking in the darkness, waiting for its next victim. In the end, Sarah went mad. She became a recluse never leaving her house and spending all her time studying cryptids and other supernatural phenomena. Her family tried to help her, but it was no use. The fear had consumed her, body and soul. And so, Sarah spent the rest of her life haunted by the swamp monster. She never knew why it had chosen her, or what it wanted from her. All she knew was that it was always there. Lurking in the shadows, waiting to strike again, and that was the true horror of it all.